I've been trying to figure out how to minimize my traveling camera setup for a while now and specifically for travel vlogging and the main lens that I was using was the 16 to 35 millimeter f 2.8 you know it's quite a reliable lens uh, it is quite big and chunky recently I picked up the 20 millimeter prime f 1.8 and you can just see right off the bat just how much smaller the camera is in comparison. It's almost half the height and way lighter. I'm going to be traveling to New York soon and I'm going to be using this as my primary camera for this upcoming trip. Let's go. Far, I'm really liking this lens. I don't have to hold my arm fully extended to get myself entirely in the frame. Pretty lightweight and compact and overall it's great just having this lens to shoot with and walk around and it not being too imposing. since I came out to New York is that there's a Sony and Adorama event at the Sony rooftop building. At this event, you could rent a bunch of Sony cameras and lenses and what I'm hoping to try out this time is the Sony A9 III because that camera has a global shutter on it. And I think the body by itself is $6,000 and I'm hoping that they have the 85mm Mark II f1.4 just because I've been wanting an 85mm prime lens for the longest time and Sony just conveniently released one. I'm hoping I could get some hands-on experience with the lens itself. That'll be pretty exciting. But that's not the main reason why I came to New York. The main reason why I came to New York is I needed to get more miles to maintain my status on Asiana. A trip out to New York and to attend the Sony event sounds like a win-win. this rental is up. I got to shoot with the Alpha A93 with the 85mm Mark II. I love the lens. Very sharp, very nice portrait lens. I really, really want to get this lens. But the Sony A93, I thought there was an issue with it at first because as I was taking photos, it wasn't making any shutter sound. And I shot on high continuous speed and it was just going away at full raw uncompressed. And this camera is a beast. I can see why the body costs $6,000 or more, over $6,000. So damn, I really want one. So the event is over. It was only about an hour, hour and a half long. I almost didn't get the opportunity to try the new Mark II because it was all uh, rented out. But luckily, as I was about to pick up my gear, someone was returning the Mark II. So got to play with it. The images are super sharp, even at 1.4. I'm pretty impressed by it. I really want one, but even the A93, it's an insane camera. I really want one. I don't need it. It's not like I shoot anything really high action enough, I would say. Like maybe if you shoot wildlife or sports, maybe the A93 would be really beneficial, but would I come again just from California just to fly in for this? probably not worth it, but I think it's a great free event for those who are in New York already. Uh, so a lot of the locals or, you know, if you just happen to be in town during this event, Adorama said they're doing this annually. This was the second event that they've had. They plan to do it again next year. So I would say if you're in the New York area, keep an eye out. And Adorama also said they host a lot of classes uh, in the area. So I have a couple more days here in New York. I'm gonna try and enjoy it. And this was a fun, fun free event and I will see you next time.